Today, we're kicking off the third day of a unique food drive here in the Metro. With your help and harvesters, we're collecting food for those in need. Jenna Hanchard is live at the Price Chopper in Olathe with more. Hey, Jenna. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning, Jow Jow. We're hoping things pick up here um, in Olathe at 159th and Merlin. If you come during um, our live show from 11 to 12, you will pick up a free bag um, if you would like to donate. We had some people here that donated, and I believe they received a free bag um, as well because they've come during our live show. Let me show you what we have so far in the fridge here. Here's the fridge part of this truck. It's refrigerated. We have some stuff, but we're hoping that donation start to pick up um, throughout the day. Usually you hear about perishable food drives, but this is really the first of its kind, the first non-perishable food drive in Kansas City. 375,000 people in Kansas City region deal with hunger every day. About one in four people in Johnson County have food insecurity. That means they don't know when they're going to get their next meal. This isn't just an inner city problem. This spreads into the suburbs. I spoke with people today that donated that said that they are happy to contribute tribute. I never know when you may be in that situation yourself, so you hope that um, at some point people will also be willing to open their hearts and at times open their wallets a little, and I felt today was my opportunity, so I did. There's lots of children that are starving, and I see, you know, I have three little ones myself, and I know how important it is, so it's a good cause. We're joined now by Sarah Biles with Harvesters. Thank you so much for joining us. Talk to, about, to us about what type of perishable items that we need and some that we could do without. <laughs> well, we, well, we love all food, but this is a perishable food drive, and so we are accepting perishable items. However, we only have a refrigerated truck with us out here today, so no frozen foods, but certainly any fresh meat, fresh produce, dairy, cheese, milk, anything like that would be great. All right, Sarah, thank you so much for joining us, and if you'd like to donate online, you can head to the website, kshb.com backslash fill the fridge. Reporting live in Olathe, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News. All right, Jenna, thank you, and the fill the fridge food drive has collected a lot of food so far in our community, and blue Springs, more than 2,000 pounds collected, more than 1,500 pounds in Platte City. And in fact, the total is about 3,600 pounds so far. It's 2,700 meals that harvesters can help people in need. That's amazing. It really is. And if you aren't able to make it out to Olathe today, you have two more opportunities. We'll be at two other locations this week. Tomorrow, we're in Bonner Springs on Commercial Drive at the Price Chopper there. Then on Friday, we'll be up north in Kansas City at the Price Chopper location off North Ash. And if you can't make it to any of those, don't worry. We have ways that you can donate online. KSHB.com slash fill the fridge.